Hey everybody and welcome back to Johnny Depp vs Amber Heard. Today we are looking at some leaked audio that pretty much like if you thought the evidence so far was super damning for Amber Heard, you have no idea. The clip we're about to watch is just absolutely unacceptable, right? right? Pretty much what happens is Johnny Depp is like, you know, if our relationship gets physical, we kind of have to break up, right? Because he's starting to realize that the relationship is obviously getting toxic. Now Amber Heard, obviously sociopathic, psychopathic, narcissist, P put every other pathy in there because she is, uh, you know, c completely crazy. So she wants to keep the relationship going, right? So she doesn't accept this at all. So take a look at the audio. If things get physical, we have to separate. We have to be apart from one another, whether it's for an hour or 10 hours or a day. We must. There can be no physical violence. Okay, we literally have Johnny Depp here saying, there can be no physical violence. We need to separate. The guy who always tries to run away from the situation, you know, go to the bathroom, hide away, because he knows that, you know, uh, a woman like this cannot really be reasoned with because she keeps getting physical. And here he is literally just saying that, hey, we, we need to stop. We need to literally stop. So how can he possibly be the abuser? No abuser says this. Look at what Amber says right after. I can't promise you that I'll be perfect. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, I and sometimes I get so mad, I lose it. Is that, is, is that not the most damning, damning piece of audio you've ever heard? Can they please, please, dear God, play this in court? This is even worse than the, I wasn't punching you, I was hitting you. That was bad enough, right? That incriminated herself as well. But, you know, that one, she can kind of, like, her defense is obviously going to be, yeah, I wasn't punching you, I was hitting you, but I was acting in, like, self-defense. Over here... There is literally no no defense because Johnny is literally like we if we ever you know if anything ever happens we need to immediately separate you know a couple hours a day even he recommends even though they're a couple he's just like we need to calm down you know recollect ourselves which is definitely the much more mature thing to do in the relationship and definitely doesn't sound like an abuser meanwhile Amber is like yeah let's just stay together and uh you know I don't know I'm like um. I'm a complete psychopath, so I can't really control what I do. Uh, I don't know if I get too mad, I might just punch you in the face, you know? It's so blatantly clear, dude. Like, look at this. If things get physical. If things get physical, we have to separate. And then there can be no physical violence. I can't promise you I'll be perfect. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. I mean, I don't know what more proof the, the judge in the court needs because this is this is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so at this point, we probably all know that Amber Heard's number one mistake was uh, abusing Johnny Depp, right? That's pretty much like, if she didn't do that, none of this would be happening. Her number two mistake is lying under oath, right? You know, that's just gonna make it much worse. So apparently, there is something that she did that will give Johnny Depp the win, so let's check that out. You see my little sister with her back on her back to the staircase and Johnny swings at her and I don't even wait any other, I don't hesitate, I don't wait, I just swung at him. Kate Moss and the stairs and I- Yeah, they got, they got, the, the lawyer's got super happy, he's like punching, he's like, you know, making a fist because he's definitely gonna get a break, uh, bring Kate Moss in the stand and uh, interrogate her as well. The herd and depth defamation trial is currently on pause, but the past 15 days were crazy. We all get a graphic explanation of all the abuse and violence that happened between the ex-spouses. It's so, more it's and more so people are starting to think Johnny this stuff has to be aired out, honestly. I can't imagine how embarrassed Johnny is, honestly. Depp is innocent because they aren't persuaded by Amber's side. Since then, she's faked tears, faked she evidence, so and let untrustworthy people testify for her. Amber lied big time oh, and all can even she, even she, the person who was on Amber Heard's side, there's a clip of her actually saying that, uh, yeah, there is proof that Johnny Depp was abused. So people are kind of speculating speculating on that front as well. Basically, they're saying that, hey, uh, I think this this doctor realized that, yeah, my reputation's probably not worth the trial or something. Because that was uh, Amber Amber's lawyer's witness, so it's supposed to be on her side. But anyways. Proven if you look just a bit closer, let's talk about the things Amber Heard did in court that actually lets Johnny Depp win. I have a memory of him begging. She mentioned she was abused by Johnny using a broken bottle and recently, just a week ago, years after the abuse took place. 
A photo by Ben King surfaced of the bottle that was used. Obviously, it is whole. With a bottle that's size 2, you'll probably need to go to the hospital after what's been done. But Amber has no wounds or bruises from that event. She also said there was glass everywhere and property damage took place but the room from the evidence looked so clean. It was near spotless. Additionally, the bottles were not... Big, big rip. Big fat rip. See at all. There's still some liquid inside and it was put on the table as My if someone drank God. it and forgot to close the lid. It's really unthinkable. I don't get how God. she began a lie without calculating if she had the right evidence in court. A lot of people are now suspecting it to be entirely made up. Another picture was presented in court recently. Recently, it was a picture of Johnny Depp's guitar. According to Amber, Johnny was trying to play this guitar while they were in Australia when he clearly couldn't have. In fact, Amber is the reason for that. She threw a bottle at him yeah, that eventually the cut finger. the tip of his uh, finger yeah, just yeah, because yeah. she was angry he politely asked for a prenuptial agreement. Yeah, and he... it, it, the, 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 the thing that she said, like, Johnny cut off his own finger, literally makes even less sense when you realize that Johnny Depp loved playing the guitar and that was like the one thing that brought him happiness apparently. So why would he like, Wait, I don't know. The guitar was blood, but Amber said it couldn't have been her who played it because she's never played one ever in her life. She heavily denied it, but people brought up photos. There's literally clips of her playing the guitar. Of her playing the instrument years ago. What if any uh, effort did you make to make to play a guitar? <laughs> I've never played the guitar. I've never played the guitar. <laughs> is this, okay. This is just absolutely embarrassing at this point. I've never played the guitar. It's very I've easy never to prove that she guitar, lied, huh? and if the court realizes this, it's gonna be bad She's for lying her. About, like, the lying comes so naturally to her. It's like, why are you even lying about this? It's like, no, it's not gonna, like, if you admit you played the guitar, it's not gonna affect the case in any way, but she's so, like, there's so many lies jumbled up in her head. She doesn't know what's real and what's not anymore, and that's kind of what happens when you stack lie on top of lie on top of lie for years and years and years. That's just, that's just how it's all gonna come crumbling down. The next piece of evidence is the fakest one of all. This all took place in Australia and remember this time, Johnny was missing a finger. On the bathroom mirror, you'll notice that there is a lot of graffiti written and you can butcher them into three layers. When you see the picture, you'll start to think to yourself, how could he have done that with a finger missing? Johnny already admitted that he wrote on the wall using some of his blood. You dipped your finger in paint after suffering an injury. Yes. And then you use that finger to write on objects in the house. Uh, yes or no? Yes. But when you compare all the pictures of the mirror, you'll also notice that words kept being added to the mirror. They were getting bolder by the second. It was obvious that she set it up and wrote more to make it look worse. The items in the background that's, are also- That's such a scummy thing to do. It's like, you know, basically what she does is finds like a little situation that Johnny Depp is in. Either he's writing on the wall, either he's a little passed out, and she makes it worse, putting the ice cream in his lap, you know, antagonizing him with the cabinet clip. And then th this part as well, it's like, God, she's just setting him up to look so bad. I don't know how it's so, like, God, the fact that people can even do this, dude. It's like, moving. how the evil. The swimsuit moved. The shower looked like it was used in between takes. Maybe she had to find the right angle to make it look more believable. <laughs> if she did, she did a bad job. You don't need the keenest eye to see that. It's so I mean, obvious. I, okay, I can kind of understand because she didn't really expect it to get worldwide media attention. This is probably the number one case in the entire world and it has the most eyeballs on it ever. So uh, she probably didn't expect that, but that's what happens when you mess with uh, such a famous actor, you know? We also have the great makeup battle. Heard's attorney, Elaine Bredehoft, said the actress had used makeup to cover up her bruises throughout her relationship with joke, Depp. Bro. She was always abused by Johnny, they said, so she had to find a way to cover it all up. Yeah, this the makeup, was right? what she used. She became very adept in it, and you're going to hear the testimony from Amber about At how least she had two years in the, the future for the different days of the bruises. The brand of the product was Milani Cosmetics, and they took offense to this. They turned to TikTok and released a video wherein they proved that the makeup was only released in 2017, when Amber claimed to have owned it since 2012 or earlier. Pathetic. How did that happen? Magic. Obviously, it's all a ruse. You asked us, let the record show that our correcting kit launched in 2017, was the caption and the video went viral. Amber became the laughing stock of the world. What's sad is that she would comment about it. I bet it, their sales went up like 50% after that. Her stylist that she's lucky 
her makeup wasn't wiped off. The stylist, confused, even said in court that she saw no bruising at all. Police also claimed that Heard did not have any bruises when she called 911 twice in 2016. Dude, there's so many people just corroborating the same story that Amber is lying, right? Her makeup artist, her freaking makeup artist said, I didn't cover up any bruises. So what are you talking about? Literally. Jesus. On the night Amber recalls Johnny beat her, police officers called to the couple's residence say they saw no signs of bruises on her face. Police officers are saying no. It's like... Amber said on the same night this isn't like later that it could have you know healed or something the same night that Johnny savagely injured her face by throwing her own iPhone at her from point blank range as hard as he could and then continued okay, to then. beat her face but the cops have a different Johnny, story the, the first destroyer. cops that came could clearly see Amber's face and it had nothing the house was also spotless zero signs of violence or abuse anywhere then another you don't cop came Amber's backing up the first cleaner, one's testimony you know? the only thing they could observe was that her face was red from crying but showed no signs of bruises you saw no well, injuries she's an expert in crying heard, correct correct and your best recollection is you saw no, no property damage, nothing in disarray. Thanks, Amber's happened. lawyer. You're really helping your right. case. This is literally embarrassing. The cops have already caught up to her lies, yet she still continues to push that everything is real. In addition to that, one of the cops said in his testimony, just because I see a female with pink cheeks and pink eyes doesn't mean something happened. Dude, she's like this evil supervillain, you know? She's been planning this entire mega operation for literally years and years and years, and she pretty much... The 2016 was the peak of her villain duties, right? She was super ultra confident, like the cocky villain in a movie, and she's just like winning, right? That's that's how every movie starts, you know? The, the villain's winning, they're absolutely destroying the hero, and uh, wow, took six years, but Jesus is turning it's around. It's also becoming easier for viewers to fact check if she's lying or not. This time, Amber claims that Johnny was crazy and mad holding his dog out the window of a moving car and howled. She was scared that he could have dropped their Yorkies. Everyone in the car just froze. No one did anything. She said, I, too, was torn as to what I should do. But netizens found a video of Amber Heard smiling while holding a small dog by the open window of a moving vehicle. And he grabs this oh my God. and holds Boo out of the window of the moving car. Oh my god, you are so bad! You were like, you were literally the worst liar. You, if you played a game of Among Us, you'd be caught instantly, Jesus Christ. Or in six years, I don't know. I mean, honestly, they were they were caught back then, but, you know, it was like, it was just believe, believe the woman, you know, believe the Amber Heard, so that's why it didn't really get that much attention. And... But He's like, how? like majority of the facts needed to decide the case were already there like six years ago. 